What's up guys, it's Casey Sogelman, aka the Fort Sanderson sister, coming at you with another top 10 video. In today's video, I'm counting down my picks for the most quotable lines in the original Hocus Pocus. These are lines that I know I hear people say the most, associate with the film, and what is on the most merch. So sit back and enjoy these lovely quotes from our favorite movie. Of course, I couldn't wear anything like that because I don't have any, what do you call them, Max? Yabos? <laughs> Max likes her yabos. In fact, he loves them. This isn't on a lot of official merch, if any, but it can be found on things purchased from Etsy. The reason this is so far down is because people don't really use the whole quote. It often just comes down to laughing about the word yabos. This is a very funny scene and it makes all of us giggle, but the whole quote usually doesn't fly out of people's mouths. Just, you know, the one iconic word. Wench. Trollop, you black tooth mop right fire fly from the hell. This is another that makes rare appearances on merch centering around Billy, probably due to the use of the word hell. But anytime we think of him, our minds immediately hear that quote. I actually just, um unboxed some plates and cups from Spirit Halloween that have that quote on the Billy Central merch. And you can watch that video by clicking on this thing right here. Um, I hear a lot of people say this along with Billy during viewings. I'm guilty of it myself because it's just so fun to say because he's so angry and it's like, I want to be aggressive too. But it's just because it tickles us. Well, I don't know. Cat's got my tongue. <laughs> I've seen this on several pieces of Binks-centered merchandise. It recently showed up on, again, the matching plates and cups. Um, but the sarcastic delivery from Winifred, the audience's knowledge of what just occurred, so it's like, oh yeah, he's a cat. Good joke. <laughs> the original dad joke. Um, and the cackle of the Sanderson sisters make this just such an iconic jab at Thackeray Binks and his family. Just... It's just, it's good. It's just very good. He has a little woman. Sounds tasty. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why I hear this one as much as I do, but fans really seem to love this quote. I mean, yes, it's funny and it leads to some funnier things on the horizon, but I see this one specifically a lot. The delivery of sheer surprise from Winnie followed by Mary's comment just makes this hushed conversation pretty funny, especially when you look at it from their POV as they're gossiping about the love life of the literal devil. <laughs> like... They're just, they're just being Karens for a minute going, oh my gosh, he got married to that. But about Satan, it's just funny. Go to hell! Oh, I've been there, thank you. I found it quite lovely. Here's a meme template that has been used a few times. Winnie's response is something I think every person who has ever worked in any customer service field in the entire world has muttered or said at one point or another in their careers. This frame is easily one of the most posted quotes on social media around spooky season. I've also seen it used in non-Halloween formats for people dealing with Karens. So next time somebody tells you to go to hell, just smile and say what Winifred said. I put a spell on. And now you're mine. This famous song lyric has graced more than a few pieces of merchandise. It's probably one of the most used quotes from the movie for merch. That said, the song is just, it's absolutely iconic, with most people recognizing the song as, oh, that's the one from Hocus Pocus because of how famous it is. It's performed in karaoke bars, at Halloween parties, and countless covers have been done on YouTube alone. It is the most iconic song from Hocus Pocus 1 or 2, and everyone knows the lyric whether they realize it or not. There's a reason the music video has collectively over 10 million views on YouTube, not to mention other sites where it's posted. It's that iconic. I smell children. Mary Sanderson's most iconic line appears on a ton of merchandise usually pertaining to her, but on a ton of merchandise regardless. Not to mention how many people quote it multiple times throughout the spooky season. Of course, we love this line because it was always accompanied by a wicked grin from Mary, and it indicated things were about to pop off. It was Mary's way of being a pointer dog. It was 
both funny and chilling to think about someone able to track you by your smell. Also, who else could take such a sinister line and make it sound so wholesome besides Kathy and Jimmy? <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you ever buy a piece of Sarah Sanderson merchandise, odds are this quote will adorn it in one form or another. If you buy a piece of Hocus Pocus merch, there's a probably good 50-50 chance this is one of the quotes on it. If you ask someone who Sarah Sanderson is, this quote is the first thing that pops to mind. That's because it's probably the most iconic Sarah Sanderson moment in the movie apart from her song, but let's be real, we jump to this quote before we think of the song. It's just so funny. She's just blissfully unaware of what just happened with the kids, but that word just triggers her bonkers mind and she just starts jumping around and chanting it. It's a very wholesome and hilarious quote that endears Sarah even closer to our hearts. Tell me that when you hear or use the word amok, you don't automatically hear her voice echoing in the dark recesses of your brain. You liars! You rotten liars! I can't hear that word without feeling the primal urge to chant it three times after its use. We associate the word amuck with Hocus Pocus just because of that one short scene with Sarah Sanderson. Oh, look. Another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Winifred Merch, this quote is on it. What part is mean the most? This quote. What is my alarm clock every morning to wake me up for work? This quote. This is quite possibly the second most quoted line from the entire film, and this is the most iconic Winifred line, because we don't just quote it at Halloween. This is a major feeling for anyone who is not a morning person. This quote starts off Hocus Pocus. It sets the tone for Winifred's character straight away. We know who she is and how she's about to act for the next hour and a half because of how her line is delivered. <laughs> Bet let that dislike for mornings and sunshine just drip from Winifred's words and you feel it in your tired soul. You know how this feels when you are awoken too early, the sun is too bright first thing in the morning, your coffee didn't come out quite right but it's fine, or someone you work with is so full of energy that you just want to slap them. All of those feelings are put forth from this one line and we feel it in our exhausted bodies all the way to the depths of our souls. Winifred is the voice of the people. Oh, come on. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. This is the quote. This is the quote that everyone thinks when they hear the words hocus pocus. This phrase could be said in other movies or used in other writings, but your mind automatically thinks of the 1993 cult classic. This is on every piece of merchandise you can think of. It's easily the most quoted line from the film. And the leaders of the two opposing forces both name drop the dang movie with this line. When you use the movie title in a line from the movie, that's your marketing campaign from that point onward. I bought a shirt from Walmart that said this line, but that was the only indicator it was a fandom tee because my brain is hardwired to think of Hocus Pocus when I see this quote. Heck, I even use it as a riff of it on my own channel description by saying, around here it's not just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. This is the most iconic quote from the entire film and the franchise's merchandise rides it all the way to the bank. <laughs> So there you have it. Those are my picks for the top 10 most quotable lines from Hocus Pocus. What do you think? Do you agree with my picks or would you have chosen another one? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you're new to my channel, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It helps me. And what helps me helps you guys get more great content like this. Tomorrow you will be getting a wonderful, wonderful Halloween special from me, and I'm very, very excited to show it to you guys. It's going to be dropping about noon. Um, that way, you guys have all of Halloween day to watch it. It is a two-parter, and it is so much fun, and we have a special surprise within the surprise, and I'm very much looking forward to you guys, uh, watching it and sharing your thoughts. Um, 
That said, on Saturday, I'll be back with Black Flame Gaming at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we will be starting a new game because Man of Medan was extremely short. I was kind of like, oh, wow, we're done? Um, don't worry, they only get better from there. But we will be starting a new game. We will be playing Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Edition as Sarah Sanderson. So it's time to send Sarah Sanderson back into the world of Pokemon. It's been a year since hers started. Um, and now she gets to go back for her next round. And I'm very much looking forward to it. But it's going to be her first randomizer. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, sharing that with you guys. Please tune in. If you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like and share your thoughts on this list down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zogelman, a.k.a. the Fort Sanderson sister, and I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am